Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading for the first week of June, which is May 31st through June the 6th. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, we are going to pull your oracle cards first, and then we'll go into the tarot to see what kind of energy is happening for you this week. Angels, teachers, guides, please help me guide Libra. Please help me guide Libra in their energy this week. Thank you. For that one. <clears throat> Libra, you have the Chaos and Conflict card, the Go the Distance, and Between Worlds here. Okay. Uh, these two came out in the protection mode, so I will read those. Um, between Worlds, it looks like you're considering a change, okay, in your life. I'll say that chaos and conflict in the protection message. Let's see here. This is a time to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there's a kind of divine order a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there's positive news. The timing is perfect. Mm -hmm. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. Mm -hmm. You'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of chaos. This moment is valuable. Mm -hmm. Don't waste it. You're also going to hear my Frenchie Buttercup in the background snoring. That's her little snoozing noises there. Go the distance in protection. Do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert for ages and ages and nothing is happening? When you conjure up the image of a desert, you picture parched lips, sunburned skin, and mirages. But there's more to it than that. Amid the hot sands are creatures with resilient spirits, tough skins, and the willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive. This is a time of developing survival skills and resilience. You're learning how to conserve your strength, and in this temporary time of austerity, it's wise to be selective about where you expend your energy. Listen to the call of your soul, because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time for letting go of what's not important. So, I feel like the energy is uh, slowing down just a little bit here, Libra, which would be totally uh, normal for a Mercury retrograde period. So, I feel like maybe you started to take action on something or started to make a change and now you've sort of gotten yourself into this pause type energy. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross, Libra. Current energy for Libra, please. Current energy for Libra. Current energy for Libra. Temperance. Yep, you're trying to balance yourself. You're rebalancing yourself here. Hmm. So there's chaos around you, right? Sometimes the best course of action with chaos is to just observe it, right? Kind of step back and go, okay, I see you chaos, but you don't necessarily have to get emotionally caught up in it, right? Everything happens for a reason, and sometimes there's chaos 
um, because of the energies going on out in the planet, you know, the outer world. And so we internalize a lot of that energy. Crossing it, you've got the um, Four of Pentacles. So this is maybe being very careful with your money, keeping things very close to your chest, um, not really willing to um, maybe connect with other people or let anyone know what's going on. This may be all internal conflict for you, but this is saying that this, it is time to take a pause. This is the energy that's affecting you right now. So the last thing you want to do is fight that, okay? Is go, oh, this shouldn't be happening, right? Because then that just makes everything worse. Like, why is this happening? Why am I having all this conflict? Um, I thought things were going good. And then blah, 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 blah. So let's see what else we have here. What is in Libra's subconscious? Maybe you do need to talk to someone, a trusted friend, instead of keeping everything inside because oftentimes when we stuff things down long enough I mean we just kind of it's it's got to come out at some point right what goes in must come out or else we hold it and hold it and hold it until we can't hold it again you've got the magician you're wanting to manifest something Libra you are wanting to manifest something new in your life and you're probably frustrated because it's not happening very quickly right here. So, but this is saying you deeply want to manifest uh, something in your life and it might be more money. You know, you might want to buy a home. Um, but maybe you don't know what to, you know, where exactly to put your money, where to invest your money, where to invest your time to have a, a more balanced peaceful life, you want to walk away. Your goal is to walk away from something. Uh, she has this ladybug dress on and that is represents luck, but also red is the root chakra. So I almost feel like you want, maybe you want to move away or you want to leave your job or leave a, um, some kind of situation you're, you're leaving or you want to, your goal here is to walk away and start something new in your life because whatever you're walking away from doesn't serve you anymore. doesn't mean that it's bad or awful. You're just kind of done with it. Got two swans two butterflies or two butterflies, two dragonflies and two birds. So this may be you walking away from a relationship. Thank you. In your past, in your past, Knight of Swords. Some quick decision that you made. Something new that you want to start, something that you, this could have been something that came on suddenly, a sudden message, sudden news that came in um, that rattled you. And now you are like, I got to get the hell out of here, right? Sudden uh, insight. But the knight charges forward quickly. It doesn't hesitate. It's like attack energy, right? Someone could have attacked you. It could have been cruel with their words to you, Libra. It's a very direct energy. What is your... Yep, you're ending it. This is just ahead of you. This is your short... Um, term uh, short what am I trying I can't talk today I haven't been able to talk all weekend very well <laughs> um you're 
possible future. I mean, everything I'm talking about is a choice. It's a choice you can make. It's a choice you don't have to make. But this is the end of something and the transformation of something in your life here, Libra. So the end of one thing and the beginning of something else. The end of the life you've been living and the beginning of a new life. So let us get up some clarity on what the heck this is. What is this, Libra? What is this temperance? Well, there you go. Three of Wands. <laughs> You're wanting to go on a journey. You may want to move. Like I said, this is you leaving. This is you expanding your life in some way. But I feel like you are... The challenge is, is you're not doing anything about it. You may feel like you don't have enough money to move forward, or you don't want to, um, if this is a business, you may not want to invest your money in hiring someone to help you with it. Yep, you've got some anxiety, nine of swords. You're stressed the heck out down here. You've got anxiety, having nightmares. You're thinking about this all the time. All the time. This is weighing heavily on you, Libra. I feel like you may not believe that you have the resources to be able to do what you want to do. To be able to leave your situation and start a new one. But you do, okay? Um, the magician is in your subconscious, okay? That means you already have everything you need in your subconscious mind, okay? You just may not realize that you do. And so you are stressed the heck out, Libra, about not being able to do this thing. Need clarity on the Eight of Cups, please. Thank you. Yep, you're wondering if it's worth it. Is it going to be worth all the work that I'm going to have to put into this? Is it worth it? I want to ask another question on this Nine of Swords. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords, please. What is... I can't even shuffle today, people. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Thank you. Nope, I only wanted one. Seven of Cups. Overwhelmed. You don't know what to do, what to choose. Da, da, da. You're absolutely overwhelmed here, Libra. There's a lot of maybe fear in your subconscious mind. Um, this may be feeling like... Um, so there's something that uh, that I work with in people through transformational, uh, my transformational coaching and healing practice is going back to heal the root cause of deep subconscious beliefs such as I'm not enough, uh, I'm not worthy, or I'm not capable, um, I don't believe in myself, I don't trust myself. All of these things all of them come from experiences in our past, usually in childhood. We get some kind of belief in our mind that we're not worthy or who am I to do this? And it leads to a lot of struggle in life and a lot of getting in our own way. So I feel like what this is saying is you need to get out of your own way. You need to believe in yourself, okay? And I know how powerful it is, too, when we have conscious beliefs or con or conscious goals, like what I want to manifest, but all your deep underlying beliefs are fighting you the whole time. That's why I got certified in rapid transformational therapy, because I had to have it myself. I think everyone on the planet does. <sighs> Look what is in your past here, the sun, whatever this stinking idea is here. Uh, Libra, it is a winner, okay? Whatever you've been inspired to do, whatever this um, thing is here, this idea, this sudden insight into something, it is a golden 
chance for you to have what you want, okay? The fear comes up as we get closer to taking action. It's like there's a little bit of fear and we're in la la land and we're dreaming and planning and da da da. And then as we start taking action, your ego's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're, you're, you're not safe. You're doing something crazy. No, no, no. Dial it back in, dial it back in, dial it back in. This is out of our comfort zone. You could get hurt. You could hurt yourself and that is not safe for us, you and me, you and me, your ego. I am your protector and I am going to rein that energy back in because you don't know what you're doing. That's your subconscious mind, okay? Golden, golden. And I don't think we need clarity on the death card, but what the heck? You need to tune into your inner wisdom. Buttercup snorting in the background. You need to tune into your higher self, okay? Your intuition. She is going to reveal everything to you. But I feel like you aren't going to get maybe the clarity that you need maybe until you start to take action, until you start to transform. But this is saying, trust, trust, trust your intuition, Libra, that you do are going to get a transformation, okay? And that this is needed for you, perhaps, okay? Trust, when you're, if you're sitting there thinking, I just wanna change my life, I want this to come to an end, yes, 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 that is coming from your higher self, okay? So you are correct if that is what you're thinking. What are your hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Or excuse me. Yeah, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Libra. Hopes and fears for Libra. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Libra. Thank you. Queen of Swords. No BS action taking, working towards your future. This is your hope. It's also your fear <laughs> of no BS. Queen of Swords, she doesn't mince words, okay? She doesn't get emotionally caught up in anything. She's kind of <clears throat> cold, you know? but does the right thing. She moves swiftly for the future like everybody needs to get out of my way because here I come. That's her energy, okay? What is your current environment, Libra? What is your current environment? Current environment for Libra, thank you. The lovers, you're trying to choose right now. I feel like whatever this is that you're wanting to do, it's going to make you very happy. And I feel like you're coming into alignment with your purpose because whatever you're doing right now does not serve your purpose. Okay? And you know it. Queen of Pentacles. This is your advice. What is the advice? She is strong. She is courageous. She is powerful. And it's time to take the leap. There's bunny rabbits down there at the bottom of her dress. Your advice from spirit is to take the leap. Go for it. And then final outcome, if you take that advice. Yep. King, or sorry, Knight of Pentacles moving towards your goals. You're going to see movement. Knight of Pentacles is slow, but it's committed, okay? It is extremely committed 
and it is working. Uh, it is moving straight towards its goal. Towards success. Okay. I mean, this could be something romantic here coming in, um, but it's really a general overall reading for you, Libra. So it could be work, love, money, business, that this could be anything. I feel like right now you're still in between, like you haven't taken any action yet, but this is what you want. So can I get some clarity on the Queen of Swords, please? Nine of Cups. You want happiness. You want joy. Okay. You want your wishes to be fulfilled. That's what you are hoping for here. And your fear is that you're not going to get it, right? But Queen of Swords cuts through the BS, okay? And the Magician says, if you want something, you can manifest it. You have the tools to do it. So you just need to tell that little voice to F off. <gasps> Lovers, clarity. Uh-oh. Hangman. You are in the middle of trying to make this choice right now. You are deep, deep within. That explains the, well, all the Oracle cards here that you are in between worlds. You don't know what to do. So this reading is telling you what will happen if you take the action, okay? Whatever you're dealing with here. Deep introspection, clarity, uh, pause here. Um, maybe reconsidering something. Eight of Swords, when you take the action, quick success. This is a quick shift in energy here, Libra. And then Knight of Swords, Clarity. This one I'm trying to come out too. Page of Pentacles, yep, beginning something new and going on a journey here. Leaving the past behind and moving forward with guidance. This person is being guided away towards their dreams. Okay. So I feel like the maybe final outcome that you want is may not happen in June, but you can start moving forward. Okay. And I feel like you will start seeing success here. What is the cup? Yep. Yin is feminine energy and receiving, so I feel like that's appropriate. It's not doing a whole lot of action right now. I feel like, um, too, that as you take action, you're going to move closer and closer and closer to that goal there. Uh, what is... I'm going to ask this. When Libra starts taking action, what is the final outcome here for best possible outcome for Libra here? Best possible outcome for Libra. Best possible outcome for Libra. I feel like it's going to be the sun. Because you started with the sun. This idea came through you. You're going to end all the anxiety and the nightmares here. All of this stress is going to go away, Libra, when you make this decision, okay? So if you need to take time right now, a pause to think about all this, then that's fine. I mean, you, you do what you need to do for you. It's your life, it's your choice. But as soon as you make that choice, okay, with that lover's card, this is all gonna go away. This is the Ten of Swords. That means the worst is behind you and you are starting a brand new journey with that number 10. It's a one and a zero. You are taking your wisdom with you forward into your future. Eight 
Ace of Swords, new beginning. This is some brilliant idea that you have here, Libra. Absolutely brilliant idea that you are ready to move forward with. And again, this could also be moving, travel, um, moving to a new place. I mean, this could be anything, but when you make the decision to move forward, that's when all of your stress and anxiety goes away. You have the Dances on One Foot card. Uh, this is the Shaman's Dream Oracle Balancing app. So let's see what this message is saying to you. Your message for the week, Dances on One Foot. Resourcefulness, saying yes to life. When dances on one foot shows up, you're called to find a new balance. Just as a dancer moves gracefully into each pose, no matter how precariously balanced a step might seem, you must bring equanimity to the situation before you, no matter how thorny or difficult a relationship seems. If you're putting too much effort into managing your life, work, relationship, family, and digital media, you're missing the point. You have to be dancing while juggling your entire life, knowing that at any one time, half of it's gonna be up in the air. You are challenged now to work with the resources available to you and not be seduced by the belief, if I only had more. Life has provided you with everything you need to accomplish your goals and fulfill your mission. When it feels like this is so weird how this is wrapping up everything we've talked about here today. When it feels like you are losing balance, do not contract, holding your arms close to your chest, for you will fall. Instead, reach out and extend them fully, saying yes to Spirit's steadying hand. When it feels like you're losing balance, reach out to Spirit. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message for you, Libra. And I wish you the best week. Um, reach out to spirit, ask your, ask, I can't talk, I'm telling you, ask your angels for guidance this week, okay? And don't implode, all right? Same thing I said at the beginning. It's like the message coming through was, don't keep it in, don't implode, reach out. Reach out and receive guidance with that yin energy. That's about receiving and not running around like an anxious, right, crazy person. Desires, goals, passion, craving, and fulfillment. Yes, you have desires. Buttercup snoring. These are your focus on what you want, okay? Focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. Be in the energy of what you want. Imagine yourself being in this new place or having this new whatever it is that you want. Imagine, feel the energy of that. And then when you're ready, take action from that new embodied energy, that new state, okay? We can't manifest crap from a crappy state. That's just the way it is, okay? We have to change our state to attract something new into our lives. So thank you, Libra, for being here. If this resonated with you, please give the video a like and subscribe. As I'm building my channel, it would help me so much. It would help me build this channel and help support you. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for being here, Libra. And I will see you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.